the threes tonight. Uh, what did you see as, as the, the key there in how you were able to get looks and knock them down and how much of a difference it made? Um, we just get into the paint. You know, last game we had 18 paint touches in the first quarter and then 18 in the entire second half. And, uh, you know, when we get to the paint, we're able to finish or be able to kick out to our shooters and um, let them make some open threes. And tonight we was able to get into the paint, um, knowing this is a defense who protects the paint, you know, five guys in the paint. And, uh, you know, guys made the right pass. You know, on the flip side, Milwaukee was able to score in the paint a lot tonight. I, I believe it was 58 points in the paint. Frank said that's been a, a focus in the last film session. What have you been seeing defensively, and, and how do you think that can get shored up a bit better? Um, we haven't been very good with our uh, low man, which is, you know, our help side defense. Um, you know, we're depending on guys to play one on one a lot, you know, containing their man and and you know, we're we're a defensive minded team. Um, you know, we rely on each other to help. Um, you know, guys are good in this league, guys are gonna get beat, um, guys are gonna make tough shots, but we gotta be able to help our teammates and uh we we're usually good around um, you know, the three point area, you know, three point line, you know, but uh but us about a break where we help guys out, but once you get in the paint, um, you know, that, that guy's supposed to be in rotation is, um, haven't been there for us. And we, we missed it a couple of times tonight as well. So, um, you know, we get, we got to be better at that. Hello, Laura. Hey, AD. Um, you know, so much was made last summer about LeBron uh, finishing second to Giannis in MVP, obviously you also in, in DPOY. Did that add any, any motivation or juice to this matchup tonight for you guys? Uh, no. Um, no, that was last season. Honestly, no one, uh, you know, had brought that up or talked about it. You know, our motivation was not losing two on the road tonight. And uh, we were able to get that accomplished. I mean, you know, he's a great player. A great player on both sides of the ball. Um, and, you know, he, he deserved them. You know, uh, for us, we just tried to go out there and, and win basketball games. Oh. Hey, D. Um, you know, it seemed like um, you know, the team's trying to get you a lot of post-ups uh, in, in late in the game, and then you have you know three assists, I think, on, on three critical baskets in, in a little stretch in the fourth quarter. What was the adjustment for you, and how did you kind of adapt your mentality to how you were operating on the post? Um, right now, I'm so hard on myself, man. I, I think I suck right now. Man, I'm not making shots. I'm not making free throws. Um, but... I think tonight my aggressiveness, you know, just being in the post and, and getting to the paint, um, you know, allow guys to, to get open. And, you know, I, I trust, you know, my teammates, you know, uh, AC hit one for me, um, Brian hit one, and, and Kenny hit one. And, uh, you know, they're in the right spots where, where I want those guys when I have the ball in the post and was able to just make the read, you know, with their guys doubling or uh, collapsing to the paint when I get there. And was able to kick it out, and, and those guys made shots. Those guys made shots. So, um, no, I think just my aggressive tonight, aggressiveness tonight opened up the floor for everyone, and um, you know that's the only way I feel like you know I'm, I'm going to get out of this you know funk or whatever um, you know that, that I'm in. You know, so I put a lot of pressure on myself to to be a better basketball player um, each and every game, and uh, you know that's what I'm going to continue to do. Dave. AD, whether it was explicit or not going into the game and you guys talking about the matchup with Giannis, when you look at the score sheet after the game, you see you hold the back-to-back -back MVP, uh, or, or not hold him, you contribute to him having nine turnovers. Is there a level of satisfaction in, in terms of, I know you take pride in the defense, that you guys were able to you know, have that type of effect on, on a guy you mentioned as a great player? Yeah, I mean, it's team defense. You know, everyone... Uh, just not the guy on the ball is, is helping guard him. Um, the league has created this, you know, um, phrase the Giannis wall, and you know because he's so good in transition. And when you load up, he he makes the right plays. And um, you know, I think Wes kind of helped us out, out tonight. You know, able to play with him last year um, and give us a little insight on um, the things that they like to run and they like to do. But um, it's a team defense. It's a team effort on everyone. Um, you know, who, who's on the other side of the ball. Um, you know, I think, you know, myself, Markeith, Braun, uh, Trey has guarded him. Um, you know, guys are just are just being physical and, and trying to um, limit his paint touches and, uh, you know, make other guys beat us. So, um, 
I didn't know he had nine turnovers, but um, that was a hell of a job for us uh, defensively. All right, we've got time for a couple more. Uh, Rachel Nichols. Hey, AD. I'm doing a project, asking you guys to help me with the Bulls defense. Um, what's what they remember about the first time they ever played against Kobe Bryant. So I don't know if it was your rookie year or preseason game, but the very first time you played against him on the court, what do you remember from that night? Uh, the very first time in the NBA, I don't remember. I remember, I think it was either my first year or my second year, um, we were playing in New Orleans, and I think it was a team with Kobe, Dwight, and everything. And uh, this is the year that I think Kobe uh, – Actually, against us, he tore something in his, in his uh, right shoulder. I want to say his labor more or something. And, uh, you know, he was holding the shoulder after he went drove to the basket. And I'm like, man, something wrong with his shoulder. And I was on the bench. And, you know, time out. And he, he comes back into the game. And I'm like, man, he's tough. You know, he, he's, he's, uh, he's still going to continue to play. And he comes down the very next play. They throw the ball to him in the post, and I think Dante Cunningham is guarding him. And, you know, he takes two dribbles, um, you know, and, you know, does a shimmy and shoot the ball left-handed, and it goes in. And I just kind of, like, stared at him down the court and looked at the bench, and I was just amazed that, you know, a guy who, you know, is right-handed just comes in and say, you know, okay, I'm just going to shoot left-handed and play left-handed. So um, that's one of my earliest memories in the league. Uh, of Kobe. Do you remember him saying anything to you, or, or were you too scared to say anything to him? Uh, no, I didn't say anything. I was on the bench, and so the game kept going on, but I didn't, uh, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything to him. I was just amazed that you know he would attempt a shot like that. Thanks, Andy. Yeah. Last question, BT. What's up, Eddie? Um, Kenny was seven for ten from the field tonight, and he shot the ball exceptionally well. How confident does he appear to be right now and at least make a shot like that? How does that open the offense for you guys? Uh, he's playing extremely well on both ends of the floor. Um, his confidence is very high. Um, we expect him to make shots. He expects himself to make shots, and we're finding him. Um, you know, he, he, he takes – oh, excuse me. <coughs> it's not COVID, guys. <laughs> the air is a little dry out here. <laughs> um, you know, he, he – he, He's a, he's a big time shot taker and a big time shot maker. And um, you know when he got it going, we we looked for him. We kind of got on him in the Golden State game about not um, taking the shot that uh, was open for him late in the game. And um, he came out tonight and, and let it fly. So you know when he got it going like that and, and guys are making shots, it opens up the paint for all our drivers and um, makes the game a lot easier for us. Thanks, Eddie.